So what I tell the patient is it's a good test, it's an evil test. It needs to be uh, interpreted in the context of an individual patient. My take of it is I think you should know your PSA. You should trend your PSA. You should know uh, your family history. You also have to interpret the PSA in the context of how big the prostate is. These are the things I look at, age, the trend of the PSA over time, urinary symptoms, and how big is the prostate. There is a variation of the PSA test called a Freena total PSA, which sometimes can help sort of re-stratify the risk that a patient has to decide does this patient need a biopsy. I think a lot of patients think if my PSA is elevated, that means I have cancer. This is one of the problems with the PSA test is it's got a very high false positive rate, meaning that only about one in four to one in three men with an elevated PSA have prostate cancer. And the only way to really know is to have a biopsy.